Thailand outlook. Sweaty crap. Welcome to another extended episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm Kachang with Dajit, and today we are covering a royal visit, Thailand's booming fruit exports, and the country transition towards greener agriculture. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our show today. Our country, Thailand, and uh, one of our neighbors, Brunei, are celebrating a major milestone. 40 years of diplomatic relations. The Sultan of Brunei and his son uh, made an official visit recently to Thailand, highlighting the deep ties between uh, the two countries. Now, strong relationships with other Southeast Asian nations are uh, um, just vital to Thailand's economic growth and also our security. And the visit uh, was a chance to strengthen those ties and explore new areas of cooperation between um, these two countries. And speaking of cooperation and economic opportunity, let's turn to Thailand's efforts to boost its fruit exports to China. Now, get ready for even more Thai durians in China because our country is working to streamline the export process, which means more of this delicious and sometimes controversial fruit could be on its way to Chinese market soon. Now, China is a massive market for Thai fruits, and increasing exports is a very significant boost to the Thai agricultural sector. And the story highlights how addressing logistical challenges can have a big impact on trade between these two countries. And uh, for our final story today, Thailand is now taking steps to uh, really make its rice industry more environmentally friendly. A new project aims to help farmers adopt farming practices that reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And rice production is a major source of uh, greenhouse gases, so uh, finding ways to make it more sustainable is essential for combating climate change. And the project is also a sign of Thailand's commitment to sustainable agriculture, which is increasingly important to consumers around the globe. And today we have discussed quite a range of topics, from uh, a royal visit. And a diplomatic milestones to the challenges and opportunities of Thailand's agricultural exports, all the way to innovative efforts to make the rice industry more sustainable. And these stories underscore the dynamism of Thailand's economy and its focus on addressing both present and future challenges. Thank you for joining us for today's extended edition of Thailand Outlook. Keep informed, stay engaged, and let's keep working together to create a prosperous, inclusive, and sustainable Thailand. I'm Kajang. We touch it. See you next time. Sorry, crap. Acknowledging the need for serious action against air pollution from particulate matter, efforts are ongoing by the government of Thailand. Targeting all sources of PM 2.5, the government is tackling the problem in a holistic and systemic fashion, so everyone can breathe fresh, clean air. Doing away with PM 2.5 is. A key national policy. Soft power refers to a country's capacity to use attraction or persuasion, rather than force, to affect the preferences and actions of different actors in the international arena: states, corporations, communities, publics, etc. More than ever, as the nations must develop a deliberate. Well thought out soft power strategy to advance, strengthen, and defend their interests, both domestically and globally, in light of the highly unpredictable global environment and the impending realities of the fourth industrial and technological revolution. A number of nations have adopted the soft power phenomenon as a defining feature of their national brands, such as South Korea's creative. Korea policy and Japan's Cool Japan, which are founded on cultural costs, creativity, and technology. This is evident in the success of the music and film industries in these countries, as a major financial hub and an example of good governance for many other countries in the region. Singapore is leading the way in ASEAN in terms of soft power. It is ranked 21st in the world. Additionally, ranked in the top 50 worldwide are Malaysia, 
39th, Thailand 41, and Indonesia 45th. As their popularity as travel destinations grows, they are also investing in building powerful corporate brands that will boost their soft power globally. In order to boost the value of goods and services and the nation's competitiveness, the current administration has made it a priority to further promote Thailand's soft power. After Prime Minister and Finance Minister Seta Tawisin chaired the National Soft Power Strategy Committee meeting, the National Soft Power Strategy Committee was established and composed of members of the public and private sectors, as well as experts in the soft power industry, thus enhancing and advancing Thailand's reputation and position globally. Moreover, the committee intends to implement a number of initiatives and strategies to advance the soft power industry's 11 sectors. Food, sports, festivals, travel, music, books, film, games, art, design, and fashion are among the 11 industries. Furthermore, it is these five F's of food, film, fashion, fighting, which is Thai martial arts, and Thai traditional festivals that support Thailand's creative industry's entry into foreign markets as significant uses of soft power. Hence, the concept of soft power goes beyond exporting goods and culture. It is a strategy for advancing international, social and economic tides. Particularly, in light of the COVID-19 recovery, soft power has emerged as a crucial instrument for increasing economic value. With a focus on innovation and technology, the Thai policy seeks to establish a creative economy based on knowledge, intellectual property, experience and creativity, connected to culture and society. In addition to serving as a link to support the advancement and more efficient application of soft power, these strategies involve planning conferences, trade shows, and seminars that feature both domestic and foreign events. Highlighting Thailand as a top travel destination, rich in history and beauty for people worldwide. The objective is to present Thai cultural technology and innovation in new ways, all in an effort to drive a continuous economic push.